put them on. They said, anybody here can catch? I said, I can catch. And they put me back there, and I caught the all-star game. Got three hits out of four times at bat. Was a most valuable player. Uh, the most valuable player didn't show up for the all-star practice because he's in prayer meeting that night because I had a Bible-believing daddy that wouldn't compromise my friend for his son to be on the ball. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. My friend, we need that. We need the flock. So, shepherds are always close to the flock. I want to give you three things tonight. I want you to pay attention. Uh, number one is what I want you to know. God sent me here to tell you something tonight. God's got something to say. Now, don't look at me. I ain't nothing but an old war out preacher. But, boy, I'm going to tell you what. I'm, I'm preaching for somebody else tonight. I'm standing in his place tonight to preach what he's laid on my heart. I didn't choose preaching. He chose preaching. I didn't choose to preach. He chose me to preach. So I'm here. Your pastor asked me to come. I'm under his authority. And I'm here to preach what my uh, shepherd has told me to bring to this flock tonight. Uh, uh, there's some things that I want you to know. There's some things I want you to feel. And number three, there's some things I want you to do. Now, I want you to know I'm preaching on the authority of the shepherd of the flock. He loves the flock. He gave himself for the flock. But he's here to instruct us tonight. But there's a lot of things need to be done in our life. Boy, it amazes me. After I've been saved over 60 years, what God's still changing in my life all the time. It just never gets done, boy. It just never gets done. Sometimes it's some old things that's crept back in and I, I thought I'd never have to worry about it again. My friend, I've learned about that flesh. It'll sneak back on you. Amen. Hey, 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 no. I've been very careful. I'll get the one to watch a ball game instead of reading my Bible. Yeah. I have to tell my flesh, you get in your place, son. Yes, sir. I've been very hey, careful. It'll be something else. But what I want you to know, number one, I want you to know we ought to find the right kind of flock. We need to find a good flock. Then listen, what's the value of, of having a place where you can go and open your King James Bible and know there's a man of God going to stand up there and he ain't afraid of the deacon board and he ain't afraid of his wife and he ain't afraid of the hen, the, the number one hen in the church. I think he's my God's man and he's going to preach God's word. If it there lips the devil, if nobody don't like it, if he has to eat baloney all week long, if nobody speaks to him as the church, he's going to preach the word of God. God said you need to find you a good flock. Now look at verse number 7. He said, I, I, she said, tell me, O thou whom my soul loveth, where thou feedest, where thou might. Listen, God will put you in the flock he wants you to have. God's got a flock for you. He's got a place where you can serve. I mean, he's got a place where you can raise your family up. I've been in the in the in the power of the word of God. Listen, a flock is a gathering together, and God wants you to gather together with other people. That's what this is all about this week. It's a coming together of people so we can get some strength from each other. I tell you, I studied this brother Billy Ray. God showed me something. I, I don't know how many times I've preached out of Hebrews 10, 24, 25. That we're not to forsake the assembly of ourselves together as a manner of some else, but so much the more as we see the day approach it. But God showed me something that today to understand verse 25, you got to understand verse 24. Right. I've been, you know, I always figured that God wanted us to come and assemble so we can get some help and so God can speak to our hearts, and that's true. But the number one reason is to be a blessing to the other people, right. to encourage the other people. Read the verse before that. I think right. we have an obligation to each other. Right. You know, I can come in here tonight and feel like I'm a part of this in my family. I can feel like I'm a part of this with my brothers and sisters in the Lord. I feel, I, 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 I feel like I feel you get around God's people. I like that old song we used to sing when I first started preaching. What a thrill I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. I listen, I, I feel at home. I don't feel like a stranger when I get around the flock of God. Amen. And if you feel like a stranger here tonight after what we've heard sung, uh, and, and my friend, you need checked up. Uh, if, if, if all this praying and singing don't gonna stir your heart a little bit, my, make you want to move a little bit, uh, get a little excited, get the joy flowing. Uh, I tell you, man, maybe this ain't your crowd because you ain't saved. Man, I tell you, we have boy in the church is a good ball player down in Christian and. And uh, his daddy's one of our preachers. He's a big old boy. 
And uh, he said, I want you to come see my son play. And I said, I'd like to come. Man, I got down there and sitting in the butchers, hadn't been to a football game, and I don't know how long. Man, after a while, I heard a bell ringing and hollering and squalling and a carrying on. And, and then I said, boy, these folks around here so are excited about the ball game. And I turned around and half of them was members of the church. I turned and I said, Where's, uh, where's this crowd out? I saw the ball game that uh, got so excited about. Uh, I bet somebody playing ball. I bet you want to get excited about Jesus. I bet you want to get excited about how good God's been. I bet you ought to be in hell tonight. All to be in hell tonight. We ought to be weeping and wailing and screaming and gnashing our teeth in the hot fires of a burning hell. But here we are rejoicing tonight. I'm getting excited about the blood and the book and the blessing of all I bet mean, that's all right with me. This is my crowd. I, I'm glad to be in this flock. Uh, so I believe the flock's a local church, and I believe you ought to get in the local church and go to uh, serving God and let the Lord show you I've been where He wants you to be. And when you get there, stay with it. Amen. Stay with it. Boy, there's a lot of good benefits. Uh, uh, we have a, a choir gets up and sing on Sunday night, and I tell you what, I saw just about every one of them born come into this world. I'm looking forward to his little uh, grandson, ain't it time? I've been listening. Get us another voice in the choir. If he can sing like his mama and sing like his grandpa and grandma and the rest of that side. Them Quavers bunch can't sing a little bit, but I'm like this bunch. But I want to tell you what, I'm looking forward to that. I saw, and sometimes I say, oh, all of you used to sing in the choir. Y'all come sing tonight. Now when they get up there and you know what? I saw just about every one of them come into the world. When you've been worth somewhere over 40 something years, I've right. been listening. I, I, it, it, that thrills my soul. It thrills my heart. I, I've been to see folks get saved. I, I grew up in the flock. Get yes, saved. Yes, get married. And yes, keep on serving yes, God. Yes, and stay yes, with the flock. Yes, I, yes, I, yes, I yes, cannot yes. believe that. You ought to find a good flock. And you ought to stay with the flock. And then second Second of all, you ought to follow the footsteps of the flock. Look in verse number 8. If thou know not, O thou fairest among women, go thy way forth by the footsteps of the flock.